welcome to the fourth episode of Original Xbox Collectibles. So here we have an original treasure chest. This was a retail gift package for for retail store employees like EB Games and GameStop and such things. And uh, these were sent out uh, around Christmas 2001. They came filled with lanyards and some t-shirts. Uh, I just stuffed some original t-shirts in there, but um, there were usually, I think, about six t-shirts in there. Um, and like I said, some lanyards, some stickers, and these were for the store employees to kind of to wear and kind of to build that uh, hype around Xbox. So there you have it, Xbox treasure chest. It's a nice collectible. I don't think too many of those have survived. I've seen, I think I've seen two so far out in the wild with collectors, but uh, these are pretty rare. If there's somebody that uh, experienced those firsthand in 2001, I would love to hear from you. What kind of t-shirts, what kind of goodies were in there? Please contact me if you remember. I'd like to get some information about that. You know, content, how many items, and when was it actually shipped out? Please put it in the comments. Okay, next up we have these squishy footballs. They're, they're maybe like four inches long, four and a half inches long. They're filled with foam. These are here in the original bag. And you were able to buy those in 2001 at the Microsoft Employee Store. And I think you were also able to get those at some conferences. They're actually not just foam. They're stitched out of real kind of like a artificial like plastic leather type panels and then filled with foam on the inside. So they're quite, they're quite nice. You can see the stitching here. And uh, I think they're great little plushy toys. All right, next up we have this document holder. And uh, this is kind of an odd thing. I have no idea where I got this. Uh, definitely 2001, maybe 2002. And it's aluminum, it's nice, it's heavy. It's for putting like uh, documents or, or, you know, like a magazine in it and hold it up. And it's got a nice print on there and uh, it's solid. It's got a really solid feel to it. No idea where I got this from, but um, yeah, I have not seen those before. Here is a Xbox Yo-Yo and this is the original little baggie. Uh, comes in this clip-on holder, you know, kind of clips off there. It's nice, it's heavy, it's got a really solid feel to it. It's kind of a small one, but it's got this nice uh, belt or, or key ring uh, chain there. And um, looks super nice. I, I play with it, works really well. It's uh, pretty high quality, actually. And um, yeah, it's got this Xbox logo on it. And here you see it in more detail. This is kind of an odd thing. It was an Xbox dog tag. You could order those on the internal Xbox swag website. Uh, employees could do that. And they also sold them at the Microsoft company store. And here are the original Xbox Live flyers and the original Xbox Live beta disc. So this is the beta disc, and it came with the instructions, how to install it, came with your key code and the disc. And this was for the first Xbox beta program. And uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. And uh, th in the background there, you see these two flyers. These are the original Xbox Live flyers. This was, um, you could get these in game stores and... Uh, some of the kiosks had these little holders that uh, held lots of these flyers. It just kind of explains online gaming for people who had never heard about that and what titles were compatible, what you needed, you know, kind of router and internet, all these things. Keep in mind, you know, 20, uh, what was this, 2001, 2002, this was brand new stuff, right? Uh, here is a lanyard, and it's about three inches across. Uh, it's kind of thick, uh, almost an inch thick, and it's got batteries in it. Also got this little clip on the back there, and you can turn it on here with this little switch, and then it actually lights up and blinks. Looks super nice, kind of a nice heavy item. 
and uh, actually let me turn off the light here and you can see it blink the batteries are kind of dead but you'll see it a little better here so cycles through it's got that nice xbox logo there in the middle and uh, I saw these at some conferences. I'm pretty sure I also saw those at EB Games. Uh, I saw people wearing those. And uh, who knows, they might have been in the Xbox treasury chest as well, but I have not seen these before. But this is kind of a really nice item. So here's a super nice item, Xbox pin. Uh, it's made out of uh, metal and glass. Super nice, maybe half an inch across. I have no idea where I got this from. Here are some Drink with Autitude Xbox Cups. Uh, these are from Sobe. And uh, Sobe, you may remember 2001, Sobe was kind of a co-sponsor of some of these Xbox events. Um, Sobe also co-sponsored the Xbox Odyssey Tour. And I'll do a future video on the history of the Xbox Odyssey Tour. And I have some really cool pictures from that, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, but these are cool, especially for the uh, Odyssey collectors and, you know, the Munch collectors. I have not seen these before, but yeah, definitely a really nice collectible. And um, I I don't know. I have no idea where I got those. I assume this was something internal or maybe at some events. Here is another event item. This is from, an, I'm pretty sure, from an ASUG Sapphire conference. These are the American SAP user conferences. And Microsoft used to be a sponsor there, had a booth there, and of course had Xbox kiosks there. And uh, this was one of the armbands that you needed to get into the uh, after hours party. And here it is, the Xbox armband. Now, the next item you definitely haven't seen before. So here is the Micro News, the internal Microsoft newspaper from November 16th, 2001. This was the day after the official Xbox launch in New York. You see Bill Gates here selling the first Xbox. And on the inside, you actually have a picture of the festivities in Redmond going on on uh, November 14th. Here's a giant Xbox laser projection on building 44. And uh, check out my other videos. I'll put a link in the description um, there are quite a few pictures, you know, some nice high-risk pictures and color from that event night. Thanks for watching.